Today you will see how you can scrap data from the web using a free web scraper tool named Octopus. The tool is free to use and in this video I will show you how easy it is to extract any set of complicated data from the web. Let me show you the web page where I will run the web scraper tool. On this page I will enter zip code and click on this search button. After a while, it will give me the list of brokers serving these zip codes and I will need to get their details. Here I will extract their name, company, phone, email and the distance from the entered zip code. I am going to extract all the listed agents here on this page and not only for this page, I will do this for multiple zip codes. Let me show you one more thing here. If I inspect the page, I can see the data is not in a good format. It's a complete mess. So we need to figure out something to make the data organized. So let's start. I already have the scrapper tool installed. You need to download it from this website. Everything is free. You can see my account here. However, it has a premium plan and the premium plan has some options that we don't need for this demonstration. After installing the tool, you need to log in with your account. So I have logged in with my Google account. So I need to log in again. So this is the interface of this tool. So we need to create a task. Click on this new option and click on custom task. In this URL input box, we need to enter the URL of the page. I'll quickly copy the URL and put it here. Let's go to the next step. Initially, it will load the page on its inbuilt browser. On this page, I need to enter the zip code here. So I will click on this zip code. Now here, select this enter text. Since we have multiple zip codes and we want to get the data for all the zip codes, I will select enter text in loop and I will put some of these zip codes to see if it works. And I'll put the other zip codes later when the bot is ready. I'm putting four zip codes here and click on this confirm button. And you see here on the right side, it has created a loop. Now I'll click on this search button. So select this click button. And now you see the page is loading. Let's wait until the page loads. The page is ready now and it has multiple data. We need to extract all the data from this page. So the first thing what we'll do I'll click on this area. When I move my mouse here, I can see all the data have been highlighted. Click on this. When you click on this, you'll see this option, select all similar elements. Yes, I need to select this. When I select this, it will select all the other similar data from this page, right? And I can see the output here. But one thing you have to notice, this output is not correctly formatted. You see the name, the company, the phone and email we cannot break this later like we cannot separate the data if we don't have a separator so instead of getting the data as a text i will extract the html okay initially i have to select text here so now all the text are here now here on this more option i will select inner html now you see it has extracted the html for this area here why i am doing this if I have this data, I can separate the names, the company and all the other data easily in Microsoft Excel, right? So we are good here. Next thing we need to extract the distance. Now I will click on distance and select the text option this time. I don't need to extract the HTML for this distance since it doesn't have a lot of data and we can just remove the distance word anytime. Okay. Now our bot is ready. If you want to add some more zip codes to the loop, then select this loop here. And when you select this, you can enter more data here. Let me enter some more data here before running the bot. Copy and I will click on this edit button here and I'll override everything and add the other zip codes. Confirm and apply. Okay, I've entered some more zip codes. So the bot is ready. I'll save this bot. The board is saved. You can see all your boards inside the dashboard. This is the new board we just created. Okay, now I can run it from here or I can always run it from the dashboard. Let's run it here. Click on run and it has two options. You can run it on your device, on your computer and run it on the cloud. Since we don't have the premium plan, we cannot run it in the cloud. I'll run it 
on my computer standard mode okay click on the standard mode and it is initializing so it has been started if you want to see how it is working click on this show browser and you will see the actions what it is doing if you don't want to view this you can always go back and you will see all the outputs here so it is loading the data for the first zip code and it's loaded and we got all the data now it is doing the second zip code and it will do this for all the zip codes step by step and the good thing is you can keep this window minimized and you can do your other stuff like you don't need to keep it in front of all the task right it's very useful when you can keep it minimized and do the other stuff on your computer so we will wait until all the data for all the zip codes are extracted now the task is completed you see run completed so it worked for all the zip codes now it has the option to export the data so i want to export the data it is giving an option to if you want to remove the duplicates you can remove the duplicates here or later in the excel file so let me remove the duplicates here export as excel okay i want to export it as excel i'll save it on my desktop folder okay now open file so the output is here you know you see the output we have the name the company phone email and in another column we have the distance now you can use some formula to clean this data you can use chat gpt to clean this data and if you know excel how to write excel formula you can clean this data i have another video on my channel how to use artificial intelligence to generate excel formula please watch this video to learn more and clean this data easily if you like this web scrapping video please subscribe to the channel and comment your suggestions feedback i will reply do not forget to subscribe to the channel thank you